Hey guys. Hey, welcome back. Um, so right now we're gonna go over about the, you know, the most important thing you need when you spray painting. I mean, other than you know, you paint, is a mask. Make sure you get a mask. They have paper ones you can wear if you're only doing it for the day or so. And but make sure you change that out. You know, every, you know, maybe every every couple of paintings or something or another, because you don't want those particles in your lungs. Um, it is a very important thing to have. Because um, when you spray paint, even with a fan on behind you or something sucking the, the fumes and the paint particles out, you, you still got little paint particles, trust me. When I first started, I had the paper mask, and I actually, you know, I was just doing black and white spray paint. And I actually, when you, I blew my nose afterwards, even after having that mask on all that time, I would still have black paint in my, in my snot. You know, it's gross coming out the nose. So, you know, that gets in your lungs. You don't want that. So make sure we get a mask. Um, the number one brand, the, bleh, the number one brand in the, the U.S. that you can find, um, I believe, is the 3M. It's 3M. It just says 3M. It's a 3M brand. Um, I actually got the one that's for drywall and paint. Okay, so definitely look for that. You know, the filters come. Uh, prepared for drywall and paint you know a lot of dust particles and it's pretty cool because it has the main filter which you can't really take off I mean if you, you can but I don't I've never seen that you can replace them with anything these main filters on the inside and they don't really get dirty but it's a very thick filter I mean look how thick that is there's my finger and that filter goes through that whole thing and that's a filter and then the other part these are the replaceable filters okay you can no, there's the back of it. See, it's white. Ah, look at that's all these particles. That even though I have a fan, see, look at that. Even though I have a fan and wide open area, that that just it all blows out, and I keep it off of me. And you know, it's it's still that's all this stuff that we could be breathing in, and it's not good. So definitely wear a mask. Now, as for these filters, fan filters, you know, you can buy a little box of filters. To they're just these. That you put in there to replace them and it has six filters and it cost me six bucks so you know and you gotta use two so there you go I actually use the same filter until I see it start to bleed into the back around the edge corners because of the first ones to go once it starts to bleed in there I change the filter because the last thing you want you don't want it to start dirty in this filter then then you got to buy a new mask um, uh, another thing which is probably more information everybody needs to know is change your mask if you've been sick with uh, something like viral in the throat, uh, bacterial in the throat, anything like that, maybe the lungs. Like I had strep throat and just out of caution because, because you know you don't you don't notice you have strep throat until like a couple days or so after you're contagious. That I replaced my mask just so that way I didn't put it back on after I was all healed up, got it again, got the strep throat again, whatnot. So. Definitely, definitely, you know, keep that in mind. Replace it if you've been horribly sick with something that's pretty contagious. Replace it. It's 20 bucks. It's worth replacing. It's better than getting sick. Um, but these, very cheap to replace. Replace them. I can't give you a number of paintings because it just depends on how heavy you use the paint, how, how, uh, how much airflow you have going through. I mean, I have a lot of airflow in these, these. If I had to put a number on it, I could probably do about 100 paintings before I changed my filters. Um, so definitely, definitely invest in one of these little double-sided masks. I think they're better than the one that has just the one in the middle. Because the one in the middle, I mean, those those are actually meant for something else uh, than paint that, that I'm aware of. Maybe in another country they're meant for paint. And that's just how they make them there. Uh, but 3M double-sided ones, real nice. The cheapest one I found for a face mask. And it is uh, about $20 where I'm at. I don't know how much it'll be where you're at. Uh, drywall and paint is what this one was. You know, you may find it, it may say only drywall, and you don't see a paint one. Just remember, drywall's dust and dust particles, paint particles. The only difference is paint's wet, it's gonna stick to it a lot better and clog up more. But as long as they're kind of, they kind of look like that, it's 3M, so we'll get a good look at it. Got a nice strap that goes over the back of your head and around the back of your neck. Stays on. It's adjustable. It breathes out here. Well, you breathe in here and it breathes the air out in the little center thing. It's real comfortable, real light. Sometimes I forget it's on. So, 
all right and the replacements are here I get these at Home Depot okay it's gonna be a little blurry there sorry this is a this is a flip camera you know I don't have a good camera I don't have the money to, to buy a new one but there we go I get them at Home Depot they're P95 particulate pre-filters okay so tells you which ones you can use it with great for paint spraying solvents and pesticides so we're covered um, make sure you use one of those please you know we don't need to we don't need to get uh, any kind of lung cancers or problems in there uh, I'd imagine you can get some very serious stuff and start busting things in your lungs and spitting up blood or something we, we don't want none of that you know spray painting is meant to be fun not deadly okay no, not if you do it right so make sure you get that mask 3m it's for particles painting drywall pesticides things like that all right get your masks happy spray painting